Twitch Gamer. Oh, welcome YouTube peeps. Marvin here, back in the shop again. I hope everybody is absolutely tickety boo. I did realise that there is some sort of clock here, but I don't know whether it is a clock. I don't see there's a clock here. Right, a little bit of news for you guys. I've made quite a bit of money actually, which I'm not going to overdo. Um, I bought a few weapons. I went in here uh, and I bought a few weapons. Um, I set myself a limit. Uh, let me tell you what I did. I bought a Colt and it cost me 105. It was very, very badly damaged. Um, I had some stuff that I already had in my locker. Um, I spent um, 330 on um, the uh, laser scope for it. And I spent roughly around about 50 bucks on parts. Um, I put it up on the auction and I made something like 3059 So that's not a really bad bang for my buck, considering I spent, um, is that 405, 480, 485, and I made 3005 that's not bad. And I got an achievement for doing it as well, which is really, really cool. Um, we are doing um, this one here this morning. And I'm going to go in here. Now, each time that you um, do a different weapon, your presets down here behind me, there are three little lines that pop up. It resets it back to default. So if you want explosive mode, you can put it on. If you want discovery mode, you can put it on. Um, if you just want to do it off the cuff, you can do that as well. So I'm going to put it on discovery components. <clears throat> I'm not going to do explosive mode, but I will show you how to do explosive mode. So let's take this, uh, this bad boy apart. Um, I have joined the Discord for um, Gunsmith Simulator. Uh, not a bad crew, actually, to be fair. Uh, and I went back through previous um, posts on the suggestion area. And way, way back, they asked for suggestions of weapons to be added to the game. And somebody, I believe, I'm not sure whether it was in the demo. I didn't see the Thompson in the demo. Somebody mentioned it would be really, really cool to have a Thompson. Well, we know for a fact we've got a Thompson because I had a go at one the other day. Uh, I have put some more points in some areas that I want to do for the woodworking bench. Um, we've got a little tiny... Let me flip this over. We've got a little tiny screw here. Just let me look at something. Um, settings. Game. Yeah, I have got the zoom completely up, so I don't know why it's um, it's being a bit pedantic. I think that's everything out of there. Uh, let me check the butt. There's no springs in there. Nothing in there, is there? No, it's just... Yeah. Right, let's put that down on the table. We've got 22 parts to find. Um, gonna have to pick this one up to do this one. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Some of these are really tricky. Really tiny parts that are um, hard for Marvin to see. I don't see any others there. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Not too bad. And let's let's have a look. We have got that trigger which comes off of there. 
and then we've got the barrel that comes off. Let me take that off. Let's take the barrel off, which unscrews. And then we've got the sight that comes off as well. Let me zoom in on that. And that comes off. And then we've got that, which is possibly the elevator for elevation. Really tiny little thing in areas, I'm telling you. We've got one part there, which could be somewhere else. But still got 13 to find. And let me pick this up. Can't see there's anything in there. There could be something, you know, really tiny, like a retaining spring or or something that is obscure. I can't see anything there. Can't see anything there, but we got something there. Oh, there it is. I got it. There you go. Uh, let's go to the bolt action. We're going to have to pick that up. And let's take this out. That comes off. There's like a little retaining spring. That unscrews. I think there is a... Is there a side spring on this? I don't see anything. Right, let's um can't see anything there. Let's put that down then. And we're gonna have to pick this one up. There were some things that you uh, you gotta pick up and then some things that you know you can do on the workbench. Um some of these parts um I think I'm looking. Some of these parts are rusty. They're not broken. Um, so we will probably sandblast them and then we will oxidize them and then we'll probably give them a whole brand new lease of life. So we've got that spring there that we need to put on. Yeah, it's that spring. And then there's that. four more to do which possibly will be the uh this chain this one here so that comes off that comes off and we got that clip there two more things to find it's all to do with the uh, trigger maybe he says There we go. So we have got broken parts. I take it all back. They look rusty to me. Uh, we have got some missing parts as well, which we could make on the um, we could make on the CNN CNN. Well, that's a, that's a news thing, isn't it? CNN um, on <laughs> on the. Let's leave the table. Uh, let's see whether we can make it on this. Open the doors. Ah, yes, we can. So we can make that. Still no time how long it will take. So I'm going to think... I think maybe the scope holder or the floor plate catch. Let's do the floor plate catch. Let's open the doors. Let's get some material in there. Uh, let's do that back up again. While we're doing that, we can do some sandblasting while we're waiting, which is only over the yonder, uh, and then we start the part. So that's going to take 51.2 um, to do, so just under a minute. Uh, turn the power on, yes. Lights, yes. Uh, dust collector, yes. Quite really therapeutic work this. Um, let's get in that little crevice in there first. 
and then we can turn that around there we go complete turn the engine off um, now I have got this open to me I'm not quite sure whether we will make a completely new one I'm gonna leave it now this bench here I've opened up um, which basically will make um, it will make this let's go into the bench it will make this so um, we're gonna probably make that or we could clean that up I'm not quite sure uh, and then there's that one there which we will make as well if we need to now I looked on the discord and I'm not sure whether they will add this okay now I've deleted all my broken parts so um, you will have to select these individually or holding down the control and then select these by highlighting everyone and then sell um, I'm not going to do that I ain't going to do that and oh my god I can't <laughs> I can't do it No, I don't want to sell them. I don't really want to sell these. Will you sell that? I want to leave. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ooh. Um, so they were asking basically, so um, all the broken parts have a tab that you can select every single broken part and then sell them. Because you can't repair them. So, you know, you might as well sell them. Um, Keep your gre keep your carbon footprint down and just you know recycle recycle recycle. Uh, let's undo that. Let's turn the material over. Uh, let's do the vice back up again, and then we got 21.5 seconds for this to do, and then we got to start the project. Okay. So I have got other orders that I'm doing up here some of these are orders and some of these are not orders some of these are ones that I bought on the tinternet and I bidded on them and we're probably going to flip them so um, I'm going to wait until all of this is finished because I'm not going to buy if I can fabricate it I'm going to save money and you know I am a tight Englishman so take that can we start another job yes we can I'm gonna start that one and then we're gonna do this uh, put the material in close the device start the machine it's gonna take all oh, that's gonna take nearly 70 seconds to do so that's over a minute and eight over a minute and then seven seconds I love the way it does this. I've got my brew here, so I'm gonna in between this, I'm gonna be having my brew as well. Oh, nice cup of Rosie Lee. Nice cup of Rosie Lee. Um, as I say, we've got this open, uh, which we can't do any work on. Now, we have got, let me come back around here, we have got this material here, where these are tubings and stuff like that. However, um, if you're going to be making barrels, you're going to be able to do the rifling on them. Uh, we haven't got that machine. Um, we would have to have a kind of like a furnace to play, basically to uh, temper the material because if you do use material um, and it's not tempered it can explode on you so um, there's not that at the moment let's turn that over so I hope everybody is having a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are how fall it was Sunday today um, he thought it was Sunday. Right, can we, um... Battery! How are you doing, buddy? Um, can we clean anything? Eh, no. No, I can't clean anything yet. How are you doing, buddy? I did get your email. We were, we were, 
at cross purposes so i did get your email i've replied to both of them and i will look at those uh, things that you've given me um to look at i really do appreciate that buddy uh, i have sent you some graphical artwork and i'm working on a proof for emoticon for you actually i'm going to do two or three and then I'm going to give you a choice. And then if you want to say, no, I don't particularly like that. Can this be done? I'll have a go. I'll have a go. You did see it. Yeah. Let me take that. Uh, we've got one more to do. We've got the machine going, but there's nothing in there at the moment. So let me put the material in. Uh, let me start the work push the button as I say I'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna do the oxidization in here because I haven't completed all the um, I haven't completed all this and the milling machine I'm just gonna be firing up the um, I'm gonna be firing up the gas cylinder for no purpose and and these gas cylinders cost five bucks I know it's only cheap as chip but five bucks is five bucks and we're here to make a profit we're not here to make a loss uh, let me turn the material over uh, let me give battery a shout out battery age he plays games for charity uh, let me start the work that's going to take 25 seconds let's go and have a look on what missing parts we can buy um this is the cake this is the car car this is a russian weapon i believe no it's not it's a german weapon we did actually google that didn't we no car car 98 um that sleeve that assembly tube we might be fabricated those let's have a look at that um body ah i can i can fabricate that i ain't gonna buy that i can fabricate it me no i've got caps lock on as well no 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 no, no. why fabricate that right bolt b o l t so it says bolt so is it that one that's broken let me have a look we can always take it out of our bag yes so and uh, the bolt sleeve which is that one is only 10 bucks and then we got what's that scope assembly sco that scope assembly we're fabricating on the bench now so we will save money on that. Okay, so let's buy those items, ka -ching, And then let's have a look whether we have be able to turn this, have we turned this material over? No, we haven't. Oh no, we have. Okay, uh, let me grab, let me grab my package. Um, now, I don't know whether to put this on the bench or whether so we bought that didn't we yes um we bought that yes uh we made that that is saving us a hell of a lot of money guys uh and that um i'm gonna make the body now if you've not seen the body uh, it really is good. Yeah, this game is really, really good, Barry. Um, put it on your wish list um, and have a look at it because it is really, really good. It's really come on. I played the demo and I gave them a lot of feedback. Um, and yeah, it, it is a really good game. It's very intricate. It's quite surprising, actually, because Marvin... Um, is that a screw? Well, that's a screw so some of this guy some of this stuff right let me show you this this is this is really cool you are i'm gonna blow your mind now i'm gonna blow your mind so we are gonna create that okay i'm gonna pick up the pen 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully mark this out. Don't want to go over any lines. And carefully go around there. Uh, okay, can we do that one too? No? Can we not do that one as well? Son of a biscuit. Okay, right, now I'm going to turn the machine on. Safety first, always wear eye goggles. And then I'm going to pick it up. This is quite fun, actually. Uh, and then I'm going to do this. Look like at that. Oh, 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 oh! Stay in the lines, Bobby! Stop it! Be careful, Bobby! Woo! Right, this is pretty fun as well. I love this. Yeah, let me turn this around. I'm using the um, WAS and D. Yeah? WAS and D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back. And I'm going to turn it, and then we're going to start going down here. Let me turn it, and let me flip it up a bit. Let me flip that over. Have we missed anything? No, no, no. Okay, like, let me have a look at this. Yes, I mean, um, I've got some ideas about this, and I'm going to keep them to myself at the moment because um, I would love, 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 love to be able to put a eagle on here. I'd like to be able to put, I don't know, a pheasant flying up. Oh, I really would like to do that. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, make it personalised to yourself. Ah, that would be really, really cool. There we go. Right, is that it? Um, pick up materials. Yes. And then we're going to leave the bench. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to stain them. Yes, I do want to stain them. Thank you. Uh, and then I'm going to pick up, pick up the stain. And then we're going to stain it, guys. We're going to use, we're going to use little rag. To st oh no, this is, this is basically a. Uh, is this a kind of like a watchamadoodles? Or what do they call it? I think it seasons it, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure with it what it is. Um, is that it? Oh, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Uh, W-A-S-N-D. Let me turn that over. There we go. Really is quite cool. Is it that's what is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, put it on your wish list battery, because I would rate this. I really would. This is really it for me, it really is relaxing. Do you know what I'm saying? It really is pretty cool. Um have we got to do anything? Oh no, we haven't, we've got to do this one as well. I didn't see that then. It's relaxing for me. I like games that relax me, keep me intrigued, and I see it before, and then when we finish it, I think back of what it was when we first started, and the life that we breathe back into it. Really, for me, is really, really cool. Um... Did we do the oxidization? No, we didn't do the oxidization. Right, let me put this on the bench then. So. There we go. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and oxidize now. Um, safety first. Right, shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door, Marvin. Um, turn on that. Yes, we do. So, apron, gloves, goggles. And let me turn on that, and then we go into here. That is all we're going to oxidize. We're going to put it in the little tray. It's going to put it in there automatically. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in that bath there. Basically to get the impurities off any grease. And then we're going to put it in there basically to rinse it. And then we're going to put it in there. This is what actually oxidizes it. And then we're going to take that out. And I think we've got to put it back in the water to rinse it. And then we've got to do the final process is the oxidization. So those three processes um, basically take all the grease off and whatnot and prepare it for that last bath. So let's grab those and then let's leave the table. We leave the table, we're going to need another bottle. So there you go. So now, if I would have left that and not waited for the milling machine to do its necessary, I would have to buy a bottle. You know me, guys. I'm a Thai Englishman. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to buy two bottles. We're going to have to buy another bottle anyway. So let's do that. Um, let's go up here. I have made a note of the uh, of this. Um, do we? Hang on. Do we? We got to clean any of these? Oh no, we don't have to clean any of those. Right, have we got have we got oil, haven't we? No. Hang on. What have we got to do? Hello. Hello. I'm sure we got to oil these now, haven't we? It says put parts on the table. Well, oh, of course, the parts are on the table. Right, okay. So where are they then? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Lay in the morning. Okay. Um, there's one part that we got to put on the table. Is it that one? It's that one. There we go. Now we got to oil it. I'm sorry if you're going to hear me noise in the background, guys. We have got um, the tree surgeons out sorting a very bad tree out the back here, which uh, limbs have been falling off on, and I think they're making it secure. So if you do any hear any rumbling, it's them um, basically using their their uh, machinery and chainsaws and whatnots and stuff. So we've got one more to do. Where are you? You're there, you little grease monkey. There. There. It's there. Look, I can see it. It's there. It's there. That is it, isn't it? Why are you saying I'm, I'm not? I'm not doing that. That's it. Freaking hell, man. Right, leave the table, come back to the table. And now, um, have we got to oil? Or do we assemble? Oh, we're going to assemble now, guys. Right, okay. Ba ba. Yeah, I find this game really, really relaxing battery. It really is good. Let me give Howe a shout out as well. Yeah, son of a baboon goop monkey. I just want to say thank you to Howe, actually. I did thank him in person, but I want to say over the over t over t internet, I want to thank him for all his help with the uh, with this land is my land. Because you can get yourself turned around in games if you don't know what you're doing. Now, he's the man with the plan. He is. Basically, what I do is, if I have a problem and I go, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I normally go and um, knock on his door and say, look, I'm having a problem with this hell. You're the man with the knowledge. Can you help me? And he go, yeah, Marvin, I can do that. It's not a problem. Oh, hang on, we got a screw. There we go. Uh, let me put that on there. Uh, let me put that in there. 
Uh, let me turn that around and zoom in a bit. Oh, I don't like it when it does that. We are saving your progress. So there you go. We're not doing too badly with this. I like that we breathed life into it. Now, there are some rifles developers that I really do not want to paint. I don't really want to paint them because, yes, okay, when they're in that environment, if they're in a snowy environment, they would have like a white camo and stuff like that. But personally, I wouldn't want to do that. Yes, you really need, <coughs> excuse me, you really need to um, to drop battery a, uh, a follow because he really, he says he's the, the worst streamer on the internet, but he's far from it. He is far from it. And let me put that one on there. Because I always think with a particular games, and it's my only personal opinion, I think less is more. You can overgild the lily. You can. No, 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 no. I, I know, I know of worse people. I can tell you now. Now, I'm the Twitch's number one waffler. It's always a fact. I will never be very silent for very long because I do like to tell you what I'm bloody well doing. Now, I've seen people that are blinkered into the game, and sometimes I do do it. I'm not going to say I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, you know, and stuff like that. I do get blinkered into the game as well, but I've seen people stream a game, and they're so intent on killing people, and, and they're, not looking at their, they're not looking at people in the chat. And I think that is disrespectful. I really do. That's why I've got Mix It Up. Mix It Up goes ding when someone chats. Hi, good morning, Dave. And I, I, I do. I do get blinkered in the game as well. How are you doing, Dave? I hope you're keeping well. Uh, let me put that down. I'm a good little multitasker, but that in the air is um, was a bit cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. You are the streamer that Twitch is more than Twitch. You do. Uh, it it is, has to be said. But no, I see a lot of people that they do not look at their they do not look at who's in the chat, and they're so they're so wrapped up in the game, the. And I think, myself personally, I think it's rude. I think it's rude that you don't welcome people to the chat and say, how are you doing? How's your day going? And stuff like that. You doing well? Yeah, Epic is really, she's finished her um, antibiotics yesterday. Um, she's still coughing up phlegm. Um, which I know is a bit of a TMI, but she really is a hundred percent better than she was. She's not completely, um, completely out of the woods yet, um, but she she feels a lot, lot better. And everybody that's asked me to pass on their wishes, their wishes, I have done so. Um, there's a little tiny screw there. That goes into there. Let me put that down. There was a little tiny screw that goes into there. This is for the sight. And then that gets put on there. And then let me... Oh, I can't pick it up. I would like to have picked that up then. Um, let me put these on. Do you know what? I'm, I don't... I can't remember... I can't remember whether this is a customer's rifle, whether this is my own. <laughs> I've bought so many stuff on I have. I've been like a little squirrel monkey. I have. Right, I'm going to bring YouTube to an end. Thank you, YouTube peeps, for watching. Do like and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you'd like me to do any YouTubes on this game or any other game that I put up on YouTube, give me a nudge and I will be glad to do so and to give you all the information that you so desire. So... Like and subscribe, and I will catch you later. Take care. Remember to like 
and subscribe. And please, hit that bell.